Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Welcome to Episode 29 of Season 2 of Live with Annie. In today's episode, we're going to introduce our updated pattern, Travel Essentials 2.0. We'll talk about the features of this handy travel organizer and hot tool sleeve, which is perfect for carrying toiletries and makeup, sewing supplies and tools, or whatever your heart desires. We will also share some tips for choosing fabrics and supplies, so stay tuned. I am really happy to be back in person with you all today, and thank you for making the time to be here. I had a really great trip to Montana, I spent um, about 10 days with my daughter and her family, and my four-year-old grandson ma met me at the airport with this awesome sign that he made at preschool that day, and we just had a grand time together. Mom and Dad were really busy with haying and four back-to-back -back weddings at their wedding venue, so my job was keeping Coogan fed and entertained. I can tell you, I was ready for bed before he was every single night and I went to bed early every night I was there too. I hope that you're having an enjoyable summer too, or winter for those of you who are joining us from the Southern Hemisphere, and thank you all again for joining us today. Drop us a note to let you know where you're watching us from and tell us about something fun that you've done to enjoy the season. We love hearing what you're up to. If you enjoy these episodes, please give us some hearts or thumbs up too, and take a minute to follow and like us wherever you are watching. And if you know someone else who you think might enjoy the information that we share, we'd really love it if you'd tell them about Live with Annie too. The easiest way to do that is to just tag them while you're watching, and that will take them directly to the episode so they can watch it too. If tagging is new to you, you just type the at symbol followed by the name that they use on whatever platform you're tagging them from. Their picture and name will pop up so you can make sure you've got the name right. If so, then click on that, add a comment if you'd like, and submit it. Finally, if you have any comments or questions as we go through today's program, please be sure to add them in the comments. We love interacting with you and we're going to do our best to answer any questions you might have before we close. So last week we did a pre-recorded episode during which we introduced our updated pattern, Get Out of Town 2.1, which includes instructions for a sturdy and stylish duffel bag. I understand that there were some difficulties with the live stream on Facebook last week, so thank you to everyone who managed to find us on YouTube or later on Facebook to watch the episode. If you missed it, or if you want to watch it again, remember that you can find all the previous episodes of Live with Annie on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or at byannie.com, and we will put up all the links to make them easy for you to find. Before we move on today to today's topic, I want to take a little bit of time to talk about pattern updates and what changed in the latest version of Get Out of Town, which is what we featured again last week. I saw a few questions about that in the comments and wanted to address those. So because we hear regularly from customers who say that they really appreciate having video tutorials, we are working really hard to provide add-on video help for all by any patterns. So each year, in addition to releasing brand new patterns, we also work to update selected older patterns in the Biani library and film videos to go with them. Believe me, if I could just wiggle my nose and have a video and updated pattern for every single pattern, they'd all be done and I'd be concentrating on new patterns. But unfortunately, it's much more involved than that and time dictates that we are usually able to update only a handful of patterns each year. So in the case of Get Out of Town 2.1, the main reason for the update was so that we could film an add-on video. The pattern had already been updated to our new design with professional illustrations, we didn't have any design changes that we wanted to make, and we and others had had great success sewing lots of beautiful Get Out of Town bags using the pattern as it was already designed. However, in order to include an add-on video, we have to create a new product. And if we're going to do that, we aren't going to just film a video and call it good. So when it comes time to update a pattern, 
We review the questions and comments that customers have sent us. We look at the pattern from every angle to determine if it can be improved. And we send it through the very same rigorous testing process as a new pattern. As we test the pattern, we sew new models, reviewing and fine tuning the pattern as we go. So for Get Out of Town 2.1, that meant sewing 14 different models in-house and also working with a number of outside testers who also sewed models. As we go, I can tell you we agonize and argue over wording, we rearrange steps for easiest and best results, and we fine-tune the illustrations. So in looking at the number of drafts that we went through for Get Out of Town 2.1, and I actually have the notebook here with my copies in it, I found that we had 29 different versions before we came up with a final version. To put that in perspective, for Night and Day, which was a brand new pattern, we had 31 versions. So as you can see, an update to a pattern can be every bit as much work and as expense as coming up with a new pattern, sometimes more. So in the end, the major changes to Get Out of Town 2.1 involved filming an add-on video to help with selected steps, rearranging the steps in the pattern, and adding three more illustrations. We also updated text as well as the layout and design, and that added three additional pages to the pattern. So for instance, the new pattern includes the very helpful For This Step You Will Need section at the beginning of steps. Having a list of what you'll need for each step is so very helpful. But the design of the bag is basically the same. So I wanted to show you an example of an older pattern, or bag made using the older pattern, which is this one. And here's an example of one made using the newer pattern, Get Out of Town 2.1. So as you can see, they look pretty much identical. We did make some very minor changes to dimensions on the bag to help things fit together perfectly, but really we didn't change any of the other features on it. So if you have an older version of Get Out of Town, the question was, do you need to buy the new one? Absolutely not. We know that you are going to get great results making the bag using the number two, Roman numeral two or 2.0 patterns, just as we and many other makers have. And if you want video support, you can purchase the add-on video for the 2.1 version for just $5. The video applies to all of the older versions of the pattern, and we include the appropriate step numbers in the video so you can find your place. That said, remember that the new pattern will include a coupon to get the add-on video at no charge. So for just $9.95, if you're ordering through our website, you get both the pattern and the video. So it basically means you're paying less than $5 for the updated version. In my opinion, just having that for this step you will need section at the beginning of the steps makes updating to the new version worth every penny. But of course, the choice is yours. So update or not, know that the video is there if you need it. And I hope that um, is helpful to those of you who have the older versions of the pattern and helps you understand a little bit more about our updated versions of, of um, other patterns. All right, so let's move these out of the way. And we are going to move on to our featured pattern of the day, which is Travel Essentials. So Travel Essentials um, includes instructions for a convenient and stylish travel-friendly set. It's an updated version of our original Travel Essentials pattern, which was released in 2013. Of the four updated patterns that we released this go-round, this is the one for which I would definitely recommend purchasing the updated version. It has much better illustrations, it also features our latest layout and design, and the project includes some really nice new features. And we're going to talk more about those shortly. So the pattern has instructions for two different projects, an organizer and a hot tool sleeve. So we're gonna talk, start by taking a look at the organizer. So the organizer has a mesh pocket, two vinyl pockets, and both of the, all three of those give you great visible storage. It also has a really deep pocket in the bottom, 
where you can put larger items. So we've got this one packed as like a men's toiletry kit, and you can see we've got mouthwash, soap, deodorant, cream, shaving cream, all kinds of stuff will fit in here, and there's still plenty of room for more. So that big, deep quilted pocket on the bottom. One of the improvements that makes this um, bag really awesome is that we added a hanging strap. And it's attached underneath this outside um, quilted pocket so you don't accidentally leave it behind in a hotel room. But it comes out, you can hook it around a towel bar or a curtain rod, and you can then, or a shower curtain rod, and then hook it and hang it up, as you can see I've done with this one here. So when you're ready to put it away, you just unclip it, fold that strap back into the pocket, and zip it up. So in order to make that possible and also to help re um, remove some of the really visible stitching lines on the outside, we also added a pocket on the outside, which is a new addition to that pattern. So this is a zippered pocket made out of quilt quilted fabric. Not only does that provide a really good hiding spot for the hanging strap, but as I said, it eliminates some of the visible lines of stitching that were on the outside of the organizer. We also changed how these inner pockets were eliminated, or are attached to eliminate some more of those stitching lines. And those two changes, coupled with the addition of this pocket on the outside, meant that we had to make this upper mesh pocket just a little bit smaller. So for reference, I wanted to show you a bag made with the original version versus one of the um, newer versions. So this is um, the original Travel Essentials hanging organizer. And as you can see, right across here, right across the front, there's a really visible line of stitching that um, was done when we attached the pocket on the inside. So on this new version, our pocket on the outside covers that. The older version also had facings in between the different pockets, and we've eliminated those on the newer one doing just bindings. So by doing the facings, we had even more stitching lines that went through the outside, and so we were able to eliminate some of those. So it not only eliminates some of those lines, it also makes construction easier. So that's kind of how the bag has changed um, from the older version to the newer version. And then I wanted to show you the hot tool sleeve. So the pattern also includes instructions for a coordinating hot tool sleeve. This is great for flat irons. I think I've got a curling iron in this one. Um, mini irons, if you're using it to carry sewing supplies. You could put cords for a um, laptop or something in there. Lots of ways to use it. And it's got two different compartments. So my suggestion is to use the back one, which is the larger one, to put the tool in and then wrap up your cord and keep it separate from your hot tool and slide it into the little um, sleeve in the front. So if you look at the older version versus the newer one, you can see that we've made the newer one just a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit taller. It's also a little bit wider because we found that tools are bigger than they were when we made this one. So we're going to start today's um, program by playing the an introduction and a closer look videos for Travel Essentials. And then I'm going to be back to talk to you about what you'll need to make this, the set and also share some helpful tips. Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I am excited to tell you about our pattern Travel Essentials 2.0, which includes instructions for a handy fold-up organizer and a bonus hot tool sleeve. They'll keep your essentials organized at home or on the road. While the organizer may be used in many ways, the inspiration for this pattern was my need to store, carry, and access makeup and toiletries when traveling. I wanted a way to have everything easy to use, but not spread all over the bathroom counter or bed. This compact organizer enables me to pack everything I need, and it fits easily in my suitcase or overnight bag. When I get to my destination, I can slide it into a drawer or on a shelf, or hang it from a towel bar or shower curtain rod using the hanging strap that's ingeniously hidden in the front pocket. 
Either way, I'll know that everything is contained yet easy to see and access. And when it's time to go home, I can see at a glance if something is missing. The Travel Essentials 2.0 organizer and hot tool sleeve are constructed of quilted fabric, so they hold their shape and offer padded protection for contents. Inside the organizer are several pockets. A mesh pocket for ventilation, two vinyl pockets for easy visibility, and a quilted compartment for larger, bulky items. On the outside of the organizer is another zippered pocket, perfect for easy access when on the go. Hidden inside this pocket is a handy hanging strap. Just open the pocket, pull out the end of the strap, wrap it around a towel rack or rod, and clip the D-ring on the end to the swivel hook on the organizer. When it's time to put the organizer away, just unclip the hook and slide the strap back into the pocket. Because it's attached to the bag, you won't accidentally leave it behind. All of the pockets are sized and positioned to make it easy to fold the bag, even when the pockets are full. A swivel hook at the top secures the contents. Carry using the attached handle, or keep your hands free and use the adjustable detachable carrying strap. With two slip compartments, the hot tool sleeve provides easy access to your items as well as insulation and protection. If either item gets dirty, just pop it into the laundry and it will be good to go again. But the Travel Essentials 2.0 set isn't just for travel or makeup and toiletries. Use it to organize and store sewing supplies, art and craft tools, first aid and medical items, and more. The Travel Essentials 2.0 pattern includes step-by-step -step instructions to make a professionally finished set and is an update of the original Travel Essentials pattern, which was first released in 2013. In addition to greatly improving the illustrations and instructions and filming an add-on video, we added a hanging strap, an exterior pocket, and reduced the visible stitching lines on the outside. You will love this new version. Ask for Travel Essentials 2.0 at your local quilt shop or find it at byani.com. If you have more questions, be sure to watch the A Closer Look video, which gives more info about gathering supplies and customizing the project. Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern, Travel Essentials 2.0. This pattern includes instructions for making a multi-pocketed folding organizer and a hot tool sleeve. The organizer is constructed around a single piece of quilted fabric called the body. Pockets are attached to both the exterior and interior in such a way that the organizer folds easily. The hot tool sleeve combines two rectangles of quilted fabric, each of which makes a slip compartment. Each project is finished with a binding to hide the raw edges, and most of the time you are working with flat pieces, so construction is extra easy. The Travel Essentials 2.0 pattern recommends that you use three fabrics for the organizer. A main fabric for the outside, a lining fabric for the inside, and a coordinating fabric. The hot tool sleeve also calls for three fabrics a main fabric for the exterior of the sleeve, a lining fabric for the interior, and a coordinating fabric for the binding and the accent on the front of the sleeve. Because some of the lines of stitching used to attach the interior pockets will show on the outside of the organizer, we recommend using busy fabrics for the main fabric. We've minimized those lines on this 2.0 version of the pattern as compared to the original, but weren't able to completely eliminate them. The project is directional fabric friendly. When the organizer is open, a directional fabric will be upright on both the outside and the inside. When the bag is folded, the fabric will also be upright when seen from the front. It will be upside down on the back, but that doesn't really concern me. If it would bother you, 
I'd suggest avoiding a directional fabric for this project. Since the pieces needed for the organizer and sleeve are fairly small, they are perfect projects for quilting on domestic machines. If you need more information about quilting, please check out our free patterns Peacekeeper and Easy Does It. You'll find lots of tips for quilting in the add-on videos for those projects. You will find a full list of supplies on the back cover of the Travel Essentials 2.0 pattern. If you don't yet have the pattern, you can also find the list on the Travel Essentials 2.0 product page at Biani.com. Just click on the Supply List tab. There are so many ways that you can use the Travel Essentials 2.0 set. You'll love how this handy set will help you get organized and streamline packing. Use it to carry all the essentials for a trip or to store items at home. The upper mesh pocket provides visibility and ventilation and expands to hold bulky items like makeup, brushes, and wipes. Two vinyl pockets are perfect for makeup, and the deep zippered pocket at the bottom is ideal for larger items like brushes, hairspray, vitamin bottles, even a small hair dryer. Store a flat iron or curling iron in the coordinating hot tools sleeve. Even if it's still warm, you'll be safe inserting it into the sleeve as Soft and Stable provides great insulation. The set will fit perfectly in my travel bag and I can easily access everything when I get to my destination. Whether traveling for business or just across town to the gym, anyone would love this handy set. The organizer can hold pens and pencils and a variety of office supplies with a few toiletries or personal items tucked into the bottom pocket. The hot tool sleeve could be used to carry a laptop charger and cords. Having a dedicated spot to carry those items is a good way to make sure they don't get left behind in a hotel room. This handy set would make a great first aid kit to carry on trips or to have close at hand at home. There's plenty of room for band-aids and bandages, ointments and creams, thermometers, medications, and more. Use the hot tool sleeve for a stethoscope or other supplies. Anyone will appreciate having emergency supplies ready at a moment's notice. I've packed this set to take to a quilt retreat. The interior mesh and vinyl pockets are perfect for rotary cutters, scissors, markers, stilettos, seam rippers, hardware, and more. Everything is easy to see and access. The large bottom pocket will hold my fabric, pattern, strapping, thread, and more. My phone and keys are easy to access in the outer zippered pocket, and the hot tool sleeve is perfect for carrying my mini iron. Travel Essentials 2.0 is fun to make and is perfect for gifts. Any child would love their own organizer for carrying art supplies or toys and games. You are sure to think of so many ways to use these functional projects too. The Travel Essentials 2.0 set makes a great weekend sewing project for confident beginners to more advanced makers. Both the organizer and the hot tool sleeve are relatively small with a minimum of pieces. They're also primarily flat, which makes assembly and binding easier. The most unique part of the project is assembling and attaching the dimensional quilted pocket at the bottom, and the add-on video will take you step-by-step step through the process. I think you'll be surprised to see how easy it is to accomplish. Other than that, the project involves basic skills used in many Biani patterns. Quilting, making handles and straps, working with vinyl and mesh, making zippered pockets, and binding. To help ensure success, we filmed an add-on video for Travel Essentials 2.0. This series of videos will help you conceptualize the project and complete the more unique or challenging aspects of the pattern. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Travel Essentials 2.0, how it's designed, and seeing some of the ways you can use it. As I said in the video, it is an awesome gift for anyone, man, woman, or child, and the pattern is really straightforward and easy to make. 
So let's talk just a minute about some of the supplies that you'll need to make the Travel Essentials 2.0 set. The pattern again calls for three fabrics for both the organizer and the sleeve. There's a main fabric that is used for the exterior, a lining fabric that's used for the interior, and a coordinating fabric that is used for everything else. So that includes bindings, handles, the inner facing that's right here, and the accent strip that's used on the sleeve. So the body of the organizer is made with just one piece of fabric, and then we attach pockets and handles to that. Though we have reduced the number of visible stitching lines on the outside of, side of the bag, as we said before, we couldn't get rid of them all, so we really like using busy fabrics to help hide those lines. And the pattern does include directions for fabric placement if you are using a directional fabric. But just as we showed in the video, no matter what you do, you're going to have the fabric on the back upside down when the bag is folded up, even if you follow the instructions. So as we said in the video, if that's going to bother you, we recommend that you just pick a non-directional fabric for this project. Um, the hot tool sleeve is made with two rectangles of fabric that are layered on top of each other and then folded in half to make the two compartments. You cut a portion of the upper one off and you can vary the look of the finished sleeve by positioning one piece with the main fabric side up, the other piece with the lining side up. And when I went through and was looking yesterday, I found that we did that on every single one of the sleeves that we made. So on here, we mixed it up a little bit and we did the lining side up on the outer one, the main fabric side up on the inner one. On this one, we did main on the outer one with lining. You can see here we did the two different fabrics. Here we did two different fabrics. I couldn't find a single one that we made that um, didn't use the use an opposite for this part and this part. So, um, you know, check that out. This one we used um, leftover pieces from other projects, and this was one quilted set. That was another quilted set. We used a totally different fabric for the little accent strip and then a fourth fabric um, for the binding that went around the outside. So even, um, you know, if you're looking for gift ideas, even if you don't make the organizer, just this hot tool sleeve makes a great gift and it's a great way to use up some leftover fabrics, even quilted fabrics from your stash. So the Travel Essentials 2.0 organizer are great for men, women, children. As we said before, great for gifts. You can choose fabrics to suit the recipient. Um, we made that set great for guys out of a more masculine fabric. This is a new set that we made since our videos were filmed. And um, I really like this one. This was made using some shot cottons and shot stripes from K Facet. And um, you know, I had said earlier, we usually like to use a busy fabric to hide the stitching lines. That line of stitching is going to be a lot more visible on here. But using a solid fabric like this is certainly not out of the question and it gives you you know, just a really classy look, I think. Remember too that this set isn't just for travel. Um, this little fun set that we um, made would be great um, for an artist to carry their supplies in or for kids to carry um, toys and games. So lots of different ways that you can use them and lots of different looks that you can get depending on the fabric that you choose. Whoops. I'm going to open this one up and let you see the inside of it. So um, again, on the inside, you've got some zippered pockets, one made of mesh, two made out of vinyl, and a larger one that's made out of quilted fabric. So again, the mesh pocket gives you some visibility. It also gives you some ventilation and a little bit of stretch. And you need just 5 by 13 inches of mesh for this pocket. So any of our half yard packages are going to be enough to make several bags or give you leftovers for another project. And don't forget that we have a mesh color sample pack that enables you to audition different colors to determine which one is the one that you want to use for your project. So when you're ordering your supplies, be sure to grab one of those too. Then we used vinyl for these two pockets. That gives you really secure storage for your contents. It also gives you some really great visibility. 
And for that, we like to use Biani's Premium Clear Vinyl. This is a 16 gauge vinyl, so it's heavy enough to be really sturdy for long lasting wear, but it's still going to be really easy to sew through it. And for this project, you need just eight by 12 inches of vinyl. Um, you get 16 by 54 inches in the package, so you've got enough for multiple bags or other projects as well. And note that you can certainly mix and match these if you want it to do all your fabric pockets out of mesh or all of them out of vinyl or this out of vinyl and those out of mesh, you can certainly do that. We always cut the mesh about an inch bigger to account for any wonkiness that might occur because of its stretchiness. So just be careful if you are going to use mesh for these pockets to add about an inch to the width and an inch to the height for those pieces and then trim it once you've got it sewn in place. You're also going to need some thread to match all of the fabrics that you used. And we recommend picking a thread to match your coordinating fabric, a thread to match your main fabric, a thread to match your zippers, and one to match your mesh as well because the threads are going to show on all of the different pieces. If you're going to make the whole set, the organizer and the hot tool sleeve, you're going to want a one yard package of soft and stable. And again, that comes in black or white. Um, so if you're using darker fabrics, black is a great choice. It really enhances those. If you're using lighter fabrics, um, we recommend doing white. And oftentimes we are using um, lighter fabrics for the lining, so white is definitely what we use the majority of the time. If you're only making the organizer or only the hot tool sleeve, a half a yard package is going to be enough for either one of those. You're also going to need some fusible interfacing, and um, that's used to uh, stabilize the strap, to stabilize the border that's on the outside, and stabilize this facing that's used to um, hide the raw edges on this bottom quilted pocket when it's attached. Um, you'll find that at our website. We have it in one yard or five yard packages, um, and this is just a, a medium weight fusible interfacing. You're also going to need some zippers for the organizer. One 24 inch and two 30 inch zippers are enough to make all of them. So you're going to use the 24 inch for the bottom zippered pocket, and then you're going to take your two 30 inch double slide zippers and cut them in half to make four 15 inch single slide zippers that you'll use for the three interior pockets and one for the exterior pocket. So depending on you know, what fabrics you're using and if you want a variety of colors, you know, you might need more than two of these to get all those out if you're doing different colors. But alternatively, if you want to use zippers by the yard and make them all the same, you can get by with just 81 inches of tape and five zipper pulls from one of our um, zippers by the yard packages. So you'll have zippers left over for another project. The um, organizer in here is made to be carried with an attached handle, and the pattern also includes instructions for a detachable carrying strap, which is probably in this pocket. Um, I usually take it out when we store it just so it doesn't get all wrinkly. And all of these are reinforced with one inch polypro strapping. So we make a fabric tube, we pull polypro strapping in so that our strap matches our project, but it's strong and sturdy and a three yard package of um, strapping is going to be enough to make everything that you need for the project. Since they're covered with fabric, we carry strapping in just black or white, so you can use the color that matches your fabric best. You're also going to need some hardware to open and close the organizer. So you've got a D-ring, which is attached here, and a swivel hook, which are used to close the bag. You've got a D-ring attached to the um, hanging strap so that when you bring that up, that can attach to the hook that's at the top. And then you need two swivel hooks and an adjustable or a wide mouth slider to make your detachable strap adjustable. And then you've got two rings that you can do either D-rings or triangle rings that are attached to tabs on the side of the bag for attaching your carrying strap. We like to use triangle rings on these as it really keeps the, the hook on the strap centered and it's not um, moving back and forth. So our one inch hardware comes in antique brass, which we've used here. Um, 
and on all of those. It also comes in nickel and black metal, so you can choose the color that really matches your project perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed learning more about this stylish travel-friendly set, and I know you're going to enjoy making and using it. As always, please remember to ask for the patterns and supplies at your local quilt shop. If they don't have them, they can certainly get them, either from us or from their favorite distributor. Remember, local quilt shops are the lifeblood of your sewing community, and we all need to do everything we can to keep them strong and in business. And of course, if you don't have a local quilt shop, you can also find everything at byannie.com. All right, let's take some time now to answer some questions that you've posted. Uh, the first one is, do you have a favorite Travel Essentials 2.0 model? Hmm, that is a good question. I actually love every one of these. If I was making one for myself, I would probably pick this one. I just, I love the colors on this. I'm kind of a turquoise fan, and I love how the green sets it off and the, the waves and stuff on inside. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, but... Um, I would have a hard time choosing just one. Each one has something special that I like about it. Could you use Travel Essentials to store electronics like cords and chargers? Absolutely. Um, you could fit those in all the pockets. Uh, you could put bigger cords in here. You could put bigger cords here. And all of those um, are going to be perfect for that. I'm pretty sure in the, um, in the Closer Look video, we showed one with some office supplies and chargers and cords in that. So yes, it would be great for that. Does the gauge of vinyl I use matter? Yes, we really prefer to use a 16 gauge vinyl because it's really strong and sturdy and it's going to hold up to repeated use. I have bags that I made when I first started designing patterns 20 years ago and that's the gauge of vinyl I used. It's not scratched, it's, you know, it's not torn, it's not you know, out of shape. It just works really well. If you use a lighter gauge, a lot of what you're going to find in local shops or big box shops is a 12 gauge. It's much flimsier and it's just not going to hold up the same way. So we definitely recommend the 16 gauge, which you can get in our package of premium clear vinyl. What is the easiest pattern to sew out of the newly released patterns? I would probably say night and day. The purse and the tote in there are both really simple to make. This is not hard either. Really none of them I would consider a hard pattern or even a terribly time-consuming pattern. Travel duffel is probably a little more complicated just because of its size. You're working with a great big bag, but get out of town is a reasonable size to work with. I have to think, so pack it in. Those are really simple. Those, those in night and day might be kind of in the same, um, same range in terms of, of time they take and easiness. Project or pack it in are really quite simple to do. So what is the pattern hanging behind you? I'm assuming you're talking about this. This is our small ruler wrap. So our ruler wrap pattern has two different sizes in it, a small and a large. We designed this so that you've got pockets to put your rulers and you can store them in there. Down at the bottom there's a big pocket where you can put a um, up to an 18 inch square ruler or an 18 by 24 inch mat. The large size looks like this, but it's got two extra sets of pockets, so it's that much longer. And we designed it so that if you don't have a mat in it, it folds up to a nice compact shape, kind of about this size, but wider. It's got a carrying strap so you can carry it. If you have a cutting mat in it, you fold it so that the cutting mat obviously isn't folded but it folds in and is easy to carry too. So if you're going to classes, it's a great way to take your rulers and mat. If you're just at home, it's a great place to, to store and, and um, protect all of your rulers and things at home too. Is there room in the night and day purse for credit card pockets? Uh, you could certainly add some pockets if you wanted. Um, so the night and day purse has two compartments. We wanted to keep this a really easy project, and so we did not add a bunch of pockets in it. I find that I have a small wallet that I keep all my credit cards in, and I like having them there because I can move it really easily from purse to purse. Um, so we didn't put them, but if you were going to, I would make sure that you put it on the side that becomes the back of the compartment 
or on this one, the side that becomes the front of the compartment, so you don't have stitching lines showing on the outside of your bag. Uh, but you could certainly do that if you like. Do you adjust your stitch length when sewing on vinyl pockets? I do not. I leave my machine set at a 2.5. I use a 9014 top stitch needle and a Sew Fine 50 thread, and I have never ever had trouble with um, my pockets tearing or stitches, you know, tearing the vinyl. Uh, that works really great. One thing that I do recommend if you're sewing directly on vinyl is that you use a Teflon foot or a non-stick foot. It's called different things depending on um, what machine you sew on, but that really makes it slide over the vinyl really easily. If sewing on vinyl is new to you, we have a great video on our website. Just go to the um, public videos section of your digital library or go to our tutorials tab that you'll see on the front and um, no, take that back. You will find it on the product page for the vinyl. We've got a video on there that gives lots of great information and tips for sewing with vinyl. So yeah, just type vinyl in the little search box at the top and it will take you to the product page and then when you get done seeing all the pictures of the vinyl, you'll see two videos at the end. You can click on those and there's lots of tips for those. What is the size of the interior of Travel Essentials, the bottom zippered pocket? So I'm pretty sure this is about 13 inches wide. I don't have a pattern with me and I think it's about three inches deep, so um, whatever that works out to be. It holds a ton of stuff. Like if you look inside this one, I have got a hair dryer in here somewhere. Uh, the brush is below. below, the, below. Um, the brush and the comb. I must have taken these out. But you'll see, I can put all of that in there and there's still room for a lot of stuff. So it holds might have to put the blow, blow, blow dryer in first to get it in, but it will hold a lot of stuff, um, pill bottles, hairspray, all those types of things. And then as we showed earlier, we've got these sections where you're not going to have something in the pocket that prevents you from folding it, so you can still fold it up and be able to close it. And the little hook up here is designed so that it moves in here. So depending on how much stuff you have in here, you're still going to be able to close your bag and easily carry it. So I hope that answers all your questions. If you got more, feel free to email us at info at We're happy to answer any other questions you might have. So let's move on now to our featured local quilt shops of the week. We have been so excited to see how many shops are borrowing by any trunk shows. It seems like every single day I get a new request for a trunk show. So it's really kept me hopping lately. And we really thank you for asking your shops to bring in trunk shows and for supporting them by buying our patterns and products from them. As we have said many, many times, we are all about promoting and supporting local businesses because they are really important to our communities. So we work really hard to help them stay vibrant and strong. This week, we are featuring two shops on two sides of the US, one in North Carolina and another in California. So we are going to start with Cary Quilting Company, who is in Cary, North Carolina. Cary Quilting features a really large selection of fabrics, tools, notions, and patterns, and they were named a top shop by Quilt Sampler Magazine, which is a Better Homes and Gardens publication, in their spring-summer 2022 issue. Um, the owner, Julianne Walther, tells me that classes and long-arm quilting services are really important parts of how the store shares, shares quilting with their community, and Cary Quilting always has lots of great classes going on. You will find the full list of current offerings at their website, and we are going to put up a link to make them easy for you to find. Um, one class that really caught my eye was their upcycled t-shirts class. Uh, that looks like a whole lot of fun. I wish I lived closer and could take that one. So for several years, Carrie Quilting has offered a special short bolt sale in conjunction with QT Fabrics. And this year's sale is going to take place um, July 25th to the 28th, so this coming weekend, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the shop. And note that there is not an online option for this sale. So QT Fabrics sends the store about 
thousand yards of fabric on short bolts that measure anywhere from two to seven yards each. And customers can purchase these bolts for just $6.99 a yard. Oftentimes, um, Julianne said, there's even more yardage than what is listed on the end of each bolt. So that is such a fun way to build a fabric stash. And if you live anywhere near the store, be sure you um, go check that out. The store is also going to be part of the All Carolinas Shop Hop in September and October, and we are going to share more information about that as it gets closer, and we will put up the link so that you can find out more. Also on October 15th, Cary Quilting Company will be hosting their biannual Handmade Market. They have over 30 handmade artisans and crafters selling everything from hand-dyed fabrics and clothing to baskets and jewelry. That looks like a really awesome event and one that just might warrant a special road trip with some crafty friends. Uh, we're going to put up the link to the blog post from their 2021 fall market um, so you can read more about it and get some more info. Kerry Quilting consistently ranks near the top in our local quilt shop contest and their customers are very vocal about their appreciation of the fabulous staff, the awesome service, and their tremendous selection of fabrics and patterns. Christina wrote, the way the fabric selection is set out is wonderful, and the staff is always exceptional and willing to help with anything from cutting to fabric choice. It is truly a wonderful shop. Sue Ann said, I saw the Biani trunk show and was encouraged to sew my own bags simply by seeing in person the construction. Cary Quilting Company also offered classes for the bags. The shop is very active and supportive in our social Raleigh, North Carolina quilting guild. And Lisa wrote, there is always a friendly face or two to greet you and help you find what you need. Julianne does fabulous fun videos daily to show what is new in the shop. If I'm in town, I always stop by. If not, those videos tempt me into online shopping. It's always a great experience either way. I have to say, I am always so impressed by all these amazing shops, and I really hope that I get a chance to visit Carrie Quilting one day. It definitely sounds like a must-stop shop. We also want to give a shout out today to Easy Quilting Corner in Riverside, California. They are going to have a Biani trunk show on display in their store from mid-July to mid-August. The store features premium quilting fabrics, kits, and fusible pre-cuts sourced from respected manufacturers, as well as a good selection of Biani patterns and products. Owners Fatin and Ben Suryani strive to offer competitive prices, a friendly online presence, prompt shipping, and personalized down-home service for the best customer service experience possible. They welcome walk-ins and they enjoy helping customers select the fabrics that will inspire their, inspire their creativity and complement their quilting projects. Fatin tells me that the store is an Innova machine dealer and in addition to selling Innova long arms, they offer edge-to-edge -edge long arm quilting services using one of the biggest and best long arm machines on the market, the Innova M28 machine. Their turnaround time is two weeks on average, though you may request an earlier date at no extra charge. I was also really excited to hear that they offer pre-quilted fabrics for sale. That really makes life easier for those who love making Biani projects. And Fountain said they mainly offer quilted Tula Pink fabrics, but they're happy to accommodate requests. Another really awesome product that they offer are sets of acrylic templates for our clam up bags. And you're going to find those at, on their website as well as in the store. The shop offers various classes as well as sit and sew days, three days a week, and at least one biani class every few weeks. They have a huge classroom that would accommodate at least 14 people with big spaces for each quilter. They also rent out the classroom for special group retreats. Just call the shop for details. Easy Quilting Corner is also a certified Quilts of Valor shop, and they host a free sew day the first Monday of the month to work on those projects. Over and over, customers in our contest praise the sto store owner's friendliness and hard work and their welcoming attitudes. Robin also recognized 
their efforts to stock what the customers like, great online sales, quick turnaround for long arm quilting, fun classes, and all the many little things they stock to make creating all of the Biani patterns so creative and fun, as well as adorable. Robin explained that when Fonten and Ben expanded their shop to have a bigger classroom and more long arm space, the first class was for a beautiful Biani tote. She said the class was full, everyone was using different beautiful fabrics, and Fonten and Ben brought in a wonderful homemade Middle Eastern style lunch for everyone to christen the space. It was a great lunch and a really fun class, especially after all the pandemic time spent sewing at home alone. Ruby wrote, every story I have ends with products ordered and in the shop a week later. This is a huge plus when working with a quilt store. I can always count on Fonten and Ben to do their absolute best to get what I need in their store so that I can complete my project. Whatever it takes, they get it done. And Leslie Ann said, the shop is jammed with beautiful quilting fabric patterns and tools for beginning through expert quilters. The opportunities for sew days with friends are always available and the classes taught are current and interesting. The owners are knowledgeable and caring, and the quilting service is affordable and beautifully executed. Right now, two ladies who sew with me are ill, as are their husbands. After a grueling week at work, Fotten and Ben took food to them. Those stories really exemplify the qualities of a great local quilt shop to me. Concern for the customer, both personally and professionally, and I really wish Fotten and Ben much success. Please be sure to stop in to see them. Check out the Biani trunk shows that is going to be on display through the middle of August and let them know that Annie sent you. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We are going to be back next week at 2 p.m. Mountain Time with another fun episode of Live with Annie when we introduce our updated pattern for Travel Duffel 2.1. We've got lots of great models and tips to share, so be sure to join us then. And be sure to mark your calendars for the following week, which I believe is August 3rd, when we are going to have a special guest, Amy from Material Girls Quilt Boutique in La Plata, Maryland, and she is going to share tips for doing embroidery and quilting on a domestic machine that has embroidery capabilities. So be sure to join us for that. It's sure to be a really informative um, episode. And until then, happy stitching.